Uh, 21, 5.40, 11. Uh, <laughs> the next record's gonna be out soon, but I don't know when. Where am I today? Well, in fact, I'm standing in Oxford Street, and behind me is the very famous Air Studios, where lots of very, very famous people record all their very famous records. And I'm just standing here waiting for one very... Are you famous, right, Should we yeah. get in a taxi? Let's get in a cab. Come on, Inga. Morning, girls. How are you? All right. Ooh. Oh, I know. Is it you? Hello. Right. All right. Yeah. See ya. See what you cause now. Oh, no. Trouble. I know. It's wonderful. Typical, isn't I it? I thought you weren't coming. I was standing out there for ages. I thought you were coming. I nearly coming. thought better of it for a minute there. But, uh... There you go. How you doing? We've got to stop meeting like this. I know. I know. It's Silly, okay. you know. I feel like I'm cheating. Meeting you like this, outside air studios. Where have you been? Oh, nice. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, working out. Thank you. This is all closed. So, hey. what have you been doing in air studios? Just sitting around, <laughs> generally watching all the people and that. Uh, doing a bit of music and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this you causing all this stuff? No, no. I've, this? Got, I've got a funny feeling it's probably you. Uh... I've just been uh, doing some film music. Oh, really? O'Reilly. Is, is, that, is that for... Um... Broad Street. Broad Street. Yeah. I've heard um, pipes of pipes of peace. Pipes of peace. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant, <laughs> brilliant album. Uh, was it true that it was it was actually going to be a tug of war double album? Yeah. Well, you know, record companies don't like double albums. No. They they panic. Um, so we said, well, we we'll split it into two: tug of war one and tug of war two. Mm -hmm. But then it suddenly got to be a boring idea. Oh, you know, it was like, oh. You so, had so many songs left over, I suppose. We had a couple left over, yeah. Um, but then we decided to make it into Pipes of Peace instead, so it was like the opposite of the last album, instead of just a follow-on. Yeah, so it's, it's actually an answer to, to, to Total War. Sort of, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's brilliant. Like, but, um, Thank you, Les. <laughs> well, what I was going to say was, because George Martin, you've... Um, last time you worked with George Martin was Live and Let Die. Right. Mm. And how did it come come about you working with him again? To work again. Well, I'd been producing a lot of my own stuff, mm. and it's hard work, you know, producing it and singing it, and wondering if you've done a good vocal take, and then you've got to sort of run around and listen to it and say, yes, you were good, and then run out and say, oh, was I? Yes, you know, and it's a bit schizophrenic. If you've got all the ideas and know exactly what you're going to do, it's okay. But if you start ad living and busking. It's really difficult, and it's nice to have somebody else there who says, you are lousy, do it again. Is it nice to have a freedom to work with everyone you want to now? Yeah. Because you you, you, yeah. you always used to play a lot yourself, didn't you? Yeah, I still I still play a lot of instruments myself. But the trouble with that is it gets a bit boring. It gets a bit lonely. You suddenly mm. realize you're in the studio. Like, where's the, where's the mates? <laughs> you know, you're just sitting there, and now the next track, <laughs> no, you know. So it just got, it got a bit uh, lonely, really. So mm. it's nice having other people there. Plus, anyway, I think it's better just playing live with people. You know, if there's some magic when you play live. Yeah. It brings out stuff in you. What? Here we are going past the hallowed halls of the BBC. Oh, yes, this is the BBC over here. Uh, hey, all right, one, Tony. Wonderful building, wonderful building. Yeah. So what was it like with Michael Jackson, working with Michael Jackson? Uh, very easy. Um, a lot of people think, because he's shy, that he might be difficult to get on with, but he's really great. He just is shy, and he's a little bit uh, uncomfortable doing interviews, mm -hmm. but I can understand that, because it's a funny situation, you know, as, you, as we know. So, um, he's great. When you, when you meet him, he's just a real normal fella, mm -hmm. well, as normal as you can be in that position. I try and picture myself as... I try and picture you two writing. How do you write together? Well, um, he came over. He wanted to write songs with me. He said uh, he said he wanted to make hits. <coughs> so I said, great, come on. So I just got a guitar and just started plonking around, plonking, plonking, just trying to get, get something going. Mm. And um, I could see when he liked something. I could see when I was getting somewhere. And, I, and he started throwing little ideas in and stuff. And we had put it down on cassette and we had about half of the idea and then um, he took it back to his hotel hello demo <laughs> let peeking dogs lie it's a, it's a dog demo <laughs> oh well all right brothers <laughs> um, 
so he just came around. We, uh, then he came back the next day and he'd done a lot of words to it. Mm. So it's just a to and fro thing, you know. So the movie, Give My Regards to Paul Steve. Yeah. It's about losing some tapes to a new album. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much of the plot because when we were making the film, the producer kept saying, don't tell anyone what it's all about, you know, because it'd be a surprise when it comes out. But then, you know, people do want to know vaguely what it's about. So there's some tapes to a new album which go missing. And I've got uh, some fellow who works for me has got a criminal record in the film. And so everyone suspects him of nicking the tapes. Right. So you have to go and see the film to see if he nicked them or not. When's it coming out? Uh, summer of 84, I think. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. We're just coming into Regent's Park now. Is there yeah. anywhere particularly you would like to go? Should we go back by the zoo? By the zoo? If we go right round by the zoo. You would notice the architecture here is Nash. And it was all built for uh, Prince Albert, Prince Regent. I love these right. houses along here, they're so wonderful. Yeah. Cost an arm and a leg. I know. I tried to live in one of them once, and the, the, the residents didn't want me because I was a pop star. <laughs> so I moved away, and I'm glad I did. You can stick it! <laughs> <laughs> I actually nearly ran over Jimmy Savile coming down here. He was jogging, and he jogged straight out of front of my car one day. I thought you would have been on the train. <laughs> so what else do you want me to ask you? Um, I see millions of things you would like me to ask you. Why don't you ask me how I like the tube? How do you like the tube? Rubbish. No, I think it's a good show. I do like it. No, I, I, honest, I do. I didn't think the interview with Mick was too good. I thought the girl doing it put him too much on the defensive. You know, he ended up explaining it all the way. But, uh... What did, what did you think of the video itself? I thought what he said, you know, that it was a song about repression, so it had to be some violence, so it would look silly otherwise. Um, I thought they made a big fuss. Not them, you know, the BBC made a bit of fuss, like they usually banning do. Banning it, banning yeah. it. But there again, <coughs> he must have done fairly well out of it, by it being banned and lots of publicity. Yeah, that's the so. thing, yeah, it helped it really, didn't it, in the end? Yeah. Good luck to him, say I. Well, I mean, it's a good record. I think it's, I think it's a good record. Yeah, it's, it is a good record. It is. On the cover. Great. <laughs> I know all the words myself. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Regent's Park. You know who's called the Regent's Park? No, why? Prince Regent, Prince Albert. Victoria's husband, she had it built for him. What, the whole park? Regent, yeah, it's true. And Regent Street. She must have actually really loved him because she had yeah. that incredible statue in Kensington up to the Albert yeah. Hall done for him as well, you know? He had his own hall, so yeah. I think she did, didn't she? She must have been all right for a bubble tone. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's no way to talk of a previous monarch. <laughs> all right for a bubble tone. I was listening to the radio, and you know this award that Liverpool have got? Are you going to all accept it? Um, Freeman, Freeman of the yeah, City. Yeah, Freeman of the City. Because yeah, they I think were all so, waiting, yeah. they were waiting. Because if one of you said no, then they weren't going to let you have it. Yeah, it's weird, you know. You know I'll accept it. I'll have anything well, that's going. one. There's one down here. <laughs> Are you watching, free councillors of Liverpool? What's that there? That's the uh, thing the goats go on. Yeah. You know, what, melting goats? The zoo, goats? Regent's Park Zoo. In fact, we might see the odd... Not trying leaving. to bunk in around the back, are you? Well, I thought we might, you know, just do a quick bunk in. Should we sit down? Oh, that's very kind of you. Come and take the weight off your sling bags. Yeah. Oh, see, there's a few goats up there on the mountain. Where? Oh, yeah, Some look. goats up there. Look at that. Distant goats. <laughs> the cheap way to yeah. visit the zoo. Uh, no, we can't use you today, I'm afraid, no. <laughs> So I, I want to know more about this album. Um, well, it's called Peeps of Pies. Very easy title to remember. Um, what do you want to know about it? Well, I want to know, um, is what one, the, the track I really love that, see, I thought when I listened to all the lyrics, I thought, God, your wife is such a lucky lady because the lyrics are so lovely, they really are. And and the the um, the one I like is and of course the girl's going to forget it is mm. through love. Look at, uh, through our love, yeah. Through our love is is wonderful. Do you like that one? It's funny. Mm. My kids like that one. Oh. When I'm talking about love, I'm talking about men and the kids. That's that's what it is for me. Mm -hmm. um, 
But I like the thought that other people can use them for their own things, you know, a couple of uh, young marrieds. That song fits perfect for them to mm. looking at life and looking at what's their future going to be well mm. through our love, you know. I it's, I, it can be seen as soppy, that kind of stuff. It's dangerous writing just a straight love song because I know people can easily just say, oh, God, you know, here's another soppy love song. But if you do like it and if you do like those kind of feelings, you just have to uh, say, sod it, I'm going to do it, you know, because mm. I like that kind of thing. What about t Tug of War with Stevie Wonder? What was Stevie Wonder like to work with? Stevie was great. He's, uh, he's got no sense of time. You know, if you ask him to come at 11 in the morning, we asked him around to, for lunch one time. He's great, by the way, he's mm. great. I'm, I mean, I'm, but if you want to know like what he's like, it's, uh, Lynn was cooking something for him. We asked him around about 11. I kind of rang him up and said, I'm just coming out the door. Well, about 10 o'clock that night, he showed up. <laughs> and there's our Linda with this charred lunch. And I said, oh, you're here then, Stevie. Great, you know. So he's, he's his own man. He's you know, got he turns a up when he wants humor. to. Yeah, he's funny. He's a, the real truth is he's a brilliant musician, you know, that's what it's down to. We, we were in New York and, and Jules actually was lucky enough to get an interview with Stevie Wonder and the first thing he said to him is, haven't we met before? And so Jules said, no, 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 I don't think so. And he says, oh, he says, I thought your face looked familiar. And it was just so, How does he do that? so, really? so sweet. Is he kidding? I mean, yeah, I know you must be kidding. No, but they do. He does use kind of cited words. He said, see you, I'll see you and all that. And at first I was a bit nervous, you know, like, I think you do get with blind people because you don't mm. want to offend them and yet you don't want to patronise them. Mm. So I was kind of, you know, trying madly not to use all these sort now of look see here. you, look here and all that, you know. <laughs> but we ended up, I ended up going like, guess who it is, you know, doing all the things. He doesn't care. No.